In today's episode, we're going to go over our composting toilet, and uh, we're going to shovel, we're going to dig, and we're going to shuffle. All aboard! <laughs> what is a composting toilet? When we're at campgrounds and we tell people that we're not really concerned about having sewer hookups because we have a composting toilet, a lot of people still don't know what that is. So what do you think is the best way to explain a composting toilet? Composting toilet basically is a toilet that does not need any flushing water. Um, you don't need to worry about a black tank and has basically two compartments. It mm -hmm. has one compartment for the number one and then the second compartment is for the number two. So the number one is the liquids, number two is the solids. Right. And pee and poop. <laughs> We're just going to say pee and poop. So the nice thing about that, of course, since they're separated, you don't have to worry about any toxic smells or it becoming toxic. Correct. So it doesn't become sewage because it's not mixed together. So as long as you keep them separate and you dispose of them separately, it's not a big deal. So we have had this composting toilet in our trailer. We bought it October 2017. We started living in it March 2018. That sounds right. Yes. So the first thing we did that very first weekend was we installed our composting toilet. Well, we didn't. Billy did. And we have not had any hint of negativity from it. Um, we have not had to worry about black tank issues. We have not had to worry about any, anything. Any clog ups or backups. Yeah. Or... And it has doubled our gray tank capacity. This little connector right here. This is how we combine our gray tank to our black tank as long as we keep the gray and the black open it self levels when we drain we drain normally as we would but since we've added this connection on here we would just you know take this off and pull that out and that will drain the black and gray at one time but it's a very easy and cheap self leveling tool that doubles our gray tank we think that flushing the toilet is what takes most water. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So this just eliminates us using water for flushing the toilet mm -hmm. and never have to worry about draining that black tank. That's the main reason why we did it. Ultimately, Ben's the one that has to deal with this stuff. It was up to Ben. And what Ben decided was he wanted a composting toilet. Which makes sense. So what? Every <laughs> two, three days you take out... Um, the liquids tank mm -hmm. and he either puts it in a toilet or I mean kind of really anywhere it's just like going and peeing outside basically yeah just uh, you find a tree and you you dump it there um, we'll show you how Ben cleans it we put vinegar and dish soap in it it keeps the smells down mm -hmm. so I think a lot of people think that it's the the solids bin that would have the smell the only time that we've ever had a hint of a smell is when we need to really clean the liquids tank yep um, which is really easy to do. Yeah, and if you go, you know, once you go s so long without cleaning the liquid tank, it starts to cake up a little bit mm -hmm. inside. But then, mm -hmm. um, like Christina said, we'll show you how we clean ours, and uh, it's pretty easy to get that all, all that cake stuff mm -hmm. inside. Yeah. That, get that all cleaned up and ready to go. Usually takes Ben maybe 10 minutes to, to clean it. Get you some pebbles, put some soap, some water. The pebbles will help clean the sides inside of the container. It scrapes all the dried up stuff off the walls. And about how often do you do this? Probably once a month. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Is it better than a black tank? Oh yeah. I'd rather do this than deal with a black tank any day. Any day. Now I've seen you use gravel before too. Which works better? Whatever you can get your hands on. <laughs> so to be clear, you took the urine out. You to be dumped, clear. You dumped the urine. Yep. And now you just kind of put it on a spin cycle. So just Dawn dish soap, water, and some rocks. That is it. 
and uh, maybe about a third of the way full with with water. Yep. You may have to do it a couple times, just like washing clothes. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. How about that? How about that? How about it? A little elbow grease, some little dish soap, mm -hmm. some pebbles and rocks, and then you got a clean pea bucket. <laughs> <laughs> So you do this every time you empty the urine tank, right? Every time. A few drops of uh, dish soap and uh, trusty old vinegar, regular old white distilled vinegar. That helps uh, eliminate your pee odors. <laughs> <laughs> and we put a top on it. Give it a couple of shaky shakes. Like so. <laughs> <laughs> and then we commence to put this bad boy back in its proper spot. <clears throat> Come along. Okay. <laughs> I always put a little bit of tissue paper or a paper towel underneath the uh, pee hole, catch any drippage that may come out. They lift up. Insert, pop it down, lock it in. And that's that. Let's change some compost. Beat it like a drum. <laughs> All right, guys, in true McMillan fashion, nothing ever goes as planned. That, that's not totally true. It's totally true. So it's after seven, somebody's got their generator going, so. Breaking the rules. Sound may be a little off. We'll see. Anyway, we are going over today um, about our composting toilet. So, I have made the composting medium from Coco Core. It's dried and compressed, so you just have to break a little bit off. So, what we have here is the dried Coco Core, leftover Coco Core, because I always make too much. A couple buckets to put it in, some water, a shovel that's what I use to break it up, and uh, we have gloves just in case. I use the gloves whenever I'm doing the composting medium just uh, so it doesn't get under my nails. And if there's like anything that's caked up inside the composting toilet, Ben will put his gloves on. Yeah, because I hate getting get anything under my nails too. <laughs> Everything is, is pretty much ready to go. Yeah, I think so. Uh, we've run out the toilet. We've emptied the old compost into a trash bag. We're going to put the new compost in. As far as the new compost goes, you don't want to add too much water because if you add too much water, um, then it gets kind of, it'll get moldy. And you don't want to use just any old water. You want to use water that you would drink. If, if you would drink it, then you can poop in it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have said that any better. That was awesome. <laughs> I mean, we don't like go out and buy distilled water. I, I know a lot of people do that. We don't do that. So um, I've got it all broken up. It's probably not wet enough, so I'm just going to put a little bit more water in it, get it a little bit more moist. Um, well, obviously, since we have a composting toilet, we don't have to worry about the black water. 
uh, debacles that we hear horror stories about. Uh, so that enables us to double our gray and also our black tank so we can have extra capacity to store our gray water. Mm -hmm. uh, so that comes in handy, especially since we like to boondock and dry camp as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And our tanks are small. Our tanks are only 32 each. The fresh water, I believe, is 40 gallons. Yep, so we can add our um, six gallon bucket four times. Oh, look at that. The generator's off. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so um, we are going to show you something that you probably don't want to see, which is where you fill the compost up to in the toilet. So this would be the time that you would want to turn the video off <laughs> or maybe fast forward to the time we have listed in the video if you don't want to see inside of our poop bin. Which looks like uh, the same stuff that it she's looks mixing just together like now. Compost. So. So. It's no biggie. Yeah, it really isn't. So let's do it, babe. Let's do it. All right, so the compost needs to be right under the agitator, probably about an inch leeway. All right, so I took the garbage to the dumpster and you put the toilet back in. I did. So we are good for at least another three weeks. At least. I mean, there's just not enough we can say good about the composting toilet other than you don't have to deal with the black tank. I mean. It's easy, and, and as far as cost goes, the toilet is expensive. It's about $1,000. Well worth it though. The compost, the big block of compressed compost is about $16 on Amazon. As far as how many uses you can get out of that? Depends on how many times you take a dump. <laughs> okay, so we've had this composting toilet for 16 months. Yep. We have used, and I'm not kidding, three and a half of those blocks of compressed cocoa core. Which you saw earlier in the video. Because each block makes a bunch. Mm -hmm. um, we've bought a total of five so far. We have a whole one in the truck and what you seen left of the one that we took it you know chipped it off from today so as far as how much it costs to keep it up I mean we put dish soap and vinegar in the liquid spin when yeah. we dump that but the cost is minimal and you don't have to worry about finding dump stations and I have to worry about any clog ups either yeah I mean if when, when we go camping if there's showers and if especially if there's toilets we don't have to change our composting toilet nearly as often or worry about dumping the gray tank which the black tank now is doubled as a gray tank nearly as often mm -hmm. so 16 months in no smells no weirdness <laughs> if there's ever been a smell it's from the liquids tank that just means that you know ben, time to change the pee yeah ben you know gets some rocks and cleans it out um we showed you how to do that it, i don't understand why everybody isn't doing this yeah Get out there and get you one. If you're going to be uh, boondocking and dry camping, it just makes sense to get a uh, um, well, I, a composting toilet. But yeah. I want to think of the main brand. Uh, Nature's Head. Nature's Head. Yeah. We've had nothing but fantastic luck with it, and uh, it's done us justice. So yeah. we, we really we highly recommend that you guys get one, especially if you're going to be full-timing. It's and, super uh, easy. Yeah. I mean, at, at the maximum, once every three weeks, you might spend a half hour... And today I made entirely too much compost. So we put that in Ziploc bags. And so the next time I don't even have to deal with preparing the compost. Which, the I, think, which I think is actually a really good good idea if you just pick, you know, you make too much of it. That way it's a lot easier the next time and the next mm -hmm. time and so on. So, yeah. Yeah. So, easy peasy. For CZ. Mine easy. I don't know <laughs> if that's politically correct, but. It rhymed. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, that's it. That's all we've got on the composting toilet. We highly recommend it. Um, we're not affiliated with them in any way. Nope. It's just our 16 months of experience on the road, and man, has it made life easy. Absolutely. We yeah. recommend it. Until then. Get it. <laughs> Which she said. Until then, the McMillan Express out.
Peace. Of course, if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Please, and comment. And subscribe yeah. if you like our videos. Let us know what you want to see. We're open books. That's about it. Until then, McMillan Express out. Peace.